Hi there. Welcome back to my shop. Thank you for stopping in. Now today, I have three things I want to show you. They were all sent to me by Adam Stack, and I'm going to spread this out over three videos. Doing one video with all three of these pieces would just take too long. The first piece here is the Adam Stack Maker A30 Pro. This is a 33 watt laser, and they do that apparently by stacking six six watt lasers together, and they get their 33 watts. And no, I don't know, understand how that works at all, but as long as it does work, I'm happy with that. The second thing I have to show you is their rotary roller. And the third thing will be the camera. Uh, camera is used with the Lightburn software, and no use getting too much into that right now. I'll do that when I get around to doing that video, and I hope you'll come back for that. So, I'm not going to do an unboxing or an assembly. If I do that, I'm just adding to the time that this video is going to take, and it's already going to take long enough just to show you what this will do. I do have a video I'm going to put a link to so that you can see the unboxing and the assembly by Roger of Roger's Shop. And he does a better job of it than I would do anyway, so you might as well watch the professional who knows what he's doing. So I'm going to put these away. I'm going to open this up, get everything out of there, assemble it, and then I'll come back and let's take a look just what this will do. Oh, and one other thing, from Adam Stack as well, but they didn't send this to me. I purchased this myself. And this is their F3 matrix cutting panel. And this works just like a honeycomb bed, except it's superior in that instead of having a mesh, basically, where your wood or other material will sit on there and allow it to be burned, these are just little protrusions little pyramids if you like and things that sit on there have much less area to end up getting burned on so i'm looking forward to seeing how that works it's got a protection area of 460 by 425 millimeters the laser itself does 400 by 400 millimeters so it will easily cover that area looking forward to seeing how this works and i hope you'll stick around all right let me get all this put away and get this ready. We'll start by taking a look at some of the controls. First of all, there's a power switch and a reset if you should need that. There's a power cable that goes right in here. And I'll tell you right off the bat, this is one of the few things I've seen that I don't like. I'm not sure why this cord couldn't come into the end here and that way it would not be in the in the way up here or perhaps it could have a 90 degree fitting so that this cord was coming off here but anyway it's a minor thing but it just kind of bugs me there's an emergency stop here if you have a problem you just push that down and then to get rid of that just give it a clockwise turn so it comes back up there's a TF card that goes in here and that will hold some of the images that you want to carve. I'm going to do this first test using a sample that was sent with this engraver. I don't know what that species of wood is. I did measure it. It's two millimeters thick. One of the first things I've seen that I really like is the way you set the focus on here. You just put the plate down here, loosen off this knob, drop it down there, and now it's focused. I can take this back out of here and I'm ready to go. Oh, let's see. All right, so I'll turn on the power. That will get this screen ready to go. And I will choose carve. And I have two choices on here. I have a butterfly and I have a dog. So. Let's take a look at the butterfly. Now the contour scanning. That's going to show me where it's going to actually do the carving at. 
So I'll try to make sure I'm on there. Let's try that again. One more time, just to make sure I'm on there. All right, that's looking good. Now when you're carving, first of all, I can, I can move that here with this. When I start this carving, I'll be able to choose how many passes. I'm just going to use one. So I'll click yes. It's going to start carving. And now I would be able to raise or lower the power or the speed. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'll speed it up and we'll see what it looks like. It looks as though it's doing a decent burn. I just want to see what's going to happen if I raise this up, the speed. I'm at 150%. Let's just see what this does. So that's finished. I'm going to go back to carve. Doesn't matter what I choose, I'm going to just want to use this to move this out of the way. And you can choose 0.1 millimeters, 1 millimeter, or 10 millimeters each time you push that. Now I'm going to turn off the power. One thing you may have noticed, I had forgotten. <laughs> as usual to turn on the air assist so I turned it off right about here and you can see a little bit of the scorching is less than what it is here but I didn't have this balanced on here so every time the air came across it it was blowing it like this taking it out of balance this is the point at which I changed the power and I do like that better I must say or sorry, I changed the speed, but I think that came out all right. Now, one thing I had forgotten to mention is the air assist, and that we'll test that a little more further on, but it does make a difference. All right, let's see what we have here. Well, it didn't go quite all the way through around that border. But still, it gives me a good idea of just what will cut or not cut on this six millimeter Baltic birch plywood. All right. Well, let's go on to some other things. Well, while I've still got it here, I've got all these pieces that came out. I just want to point out, this does seem to work much better than the mesh style. There is no burning anywhere in here where it went through to speak of, although this was a lot of passes, so that made a a big difference when you're doing five passes at 60 millimeters per minute. That's a lot of heat. Over here, where we got to 300 millimeters per minute, much better. Not showing any scorching on there at all. So I'm very pleased with this, 
this new honeycomb bed, although I realize it's not really a honeycomb, that's just excellent. All right, that came out nicely. This is the opposite side of the same one that I did a while ago with the other one. I'm really not sure if I prefer one of these engravings over the other. They both look good to me. All right, I'm just wondering if you have taken note of how these mounts work on this new Atom Stack bed. They are both wonderful and a bit of a pain in the butt at times trying to get them lined up in here. But I like it, I like it quite a lot. So I'll certainly be using that all the time now till someone comes up with something better. All right, let's take a look at this now. Right. that cut out very nicely put a cord around that and hang it somewhere I think that would look real good you could spray paint it if you want or something like that All right very nice job Looking pretty good, and the air assist was blowing most of these pieces out of there. So I think that worked all right. Now I had the air assist on, but I'm gonna wipe this just to see if it takes any charring off of there still. Well, nothing too much showing up on the paper towel. Let's see what this looks like. Well, after doing some cleaning with some lens cleaner on there, that looks pretty good. And this is what came off of the front of the mirror. So I'm pleased with that. Looks pretty good in my humble opinion. All right, that just gave you a little bit of a view of some things that you can engrave or cut with this laser engraver. Everything from plastic like this that turned out very nice. It's got a very nice narrow beam, stainless steel. Quite pleased with how that worked out. And of course, you can cut yourself a, an eagle out of paper or out of some plywood if you want to. And then perhaps my favorite, engraving on a mirror. That worked out real well. Now, if you're interested in one of these, I will have some links in the show more box down below the video so you can get some information on 
pricing and availability. And I want to thank you for coming into my shop today and taking a look at this. I'm going to do two more videos on this package. One on the rotary roller and one on the camera. And I hope you'll come back for those. In the meantime, again, thank you for showing up. If you haven't subscribed before and you like what I'm doing, I hope you'll take a moment to do that. Click the like button if you like what you're seeing, and please come back next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.